Okay, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Friends, in we have this ordinary lifestyle followed by thoughts, patterns, culture, tradition, believing, so, so, and so. And uh, we always think we have to have a conventional desire to find the success. So with that idea, morning to night, nine to morning, so we keep following, keep doing many, many things. And mainly based with this outside material world. So this material success is necessary. When you practice meditation, you no need to come out of it. It's nothing wrong with this outside world. But at the same time, you have to remember it is a very shallow level of life. It is just an ordinary life. It cannot make you take you to a place, find the complete satisfaction. You find the satisfaction, it is very shallow level. It's a moment by moment, moment by moment change then you have to keep going, keep chasing again and again, again and again. But there is a deeper satisfaction you can gain beyond this all conventional life. That is That satisfaction not going to change according to the, the outside conditions. So that satisfaction take you to more deeper level of awareness and understanding and clarity to recognize how things come to be as they are. When you able to have the, the wisdom or the knowledge or you can name whatever you want. When you able to recognize the truth as truth and when you are able to recognize the right things as right things, knowingly why it is right. And if there is something wrong, if you can recognize it is wrong and why it is wrong. When you are able to come to that level of understanding, it's going to uplift your life from this conventional lifestyle. And you start to become kind of like a flower, come out of the, the water and stay untouched the water. So how you can get into that? And other thing is, do you want to come out that way? Or you just, you want to be with this shallow level of conventional life? Go with this, all the drama, all the fights, arguments, so if it is your choice to go with it, go with it. But in case if you think this is not what you want and then you have to listen to this. So when it comes to life, mainly our life based with thoughts. So the thoughts, related with the time and space. And according to the time and space, the whatever the thoughts, whatever the words, the meaning going to change. So if I give an example, somebody blamed to you, so another friend called you and tell, you know, that person blamed to you. And sometimes by hearing it, you get hurt. Really? That person told something like that? And then you ask when? So now you heard the words and then you start to recognize when. 
So then the other side, that person tell, oh, it is 10 years back. And right away, what is happening to your feelings? It's going to change. But if the person tell you right now, that person blame to you, so and so, then what will happen? The right now, that time, and the space is the person. And then, and according to that, the, the whatever effect for you going to change. So this is what happening in day-to-day -day life. And there are two, three kind of timelines, past, present, and the future. So when we in the shallow level of life, we always dealing with the past, present, and the future. And we go with the, the thoughts or the patterns or the believing or the tradition, this everything shallow level of life. The mostly when we look at the this human civilizations, even mostly philosoph certain philosophers, they're trying to talk about Buddhism. And there are scientists, they try to talk about Buddhism. But they're trying to match this shallow level of life, lifestyle to the Buddhism, Buddha's teaching. But it is more, more different. That is what you have to understand. What the what is the in the in the, the Buddha's teaching? What is the really deeply the what where are it trying to take us? And we talk about anicca, impermanent, and we talk about uh, emptiness. The, so this kind of the, but from where if we live with this shallow level of lifestyle, and by words just we try to explain that. And sometimes when the more mostly scientists or the some philosophers say something related with the Buddhism or if, if something similar to Buddhism, we become so happy. But it's nothing to become happy because the Buddha already told about it. Why you need someone else approval for that? Even that person sometimes having very shallow level of lifestyle. That person will never understand that. So as example, maybe he drinking, taking drugs or marijuana, smoking, the very shallow level of life. And sometimes in sexually abused people. And sometimes that him himself, that you know, there are certain philosophers scientists suicide themselves so that kind of person if they if they talk about the the buddha's teaching and tell and according to science the buddha's teaching is like this like that why you become so passionate about it even that person couldn't recognize its own life that person cannot handle that uh, its own life but in the in an according to the worldly condition he get a title scientist and then you go with it. But when it comes to Buddha's teaching, it's really you have to go with the practice. Remember this. If anybody don't practice meditation, you know, if anybody that don't listen to the Buddha's teaching, the sutras, he will never get the, the, the meaning of vipassana. He need to practice meditation. He need to he, he need to listen to the Buddha's sutras. Otherwise, he cannot get it. Otherwise, he need to become a Buddha. So, if so, then it is it's okay. You can accept it. But the thing is this: when you trying to go with someone else teaching, just look a little bit. It is it. Is it trying to explain through the words? Or is it trying to trying to exp explain something through the, the self-experience? 
it is too different because when you look at the the buddha's teaching look buddha never try to teach where buddha teach buddha never taught the buddha had the conversations so venerable ananda recorded that everything memorized that everything and then today we trying to go through that all the the records and trying to understand what is the meaning and through the patris we trying to get into the depth of the 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 teachings so otherwise buddha never give lectures like scientists buddha had very very clear simple conversation with people and so remember in 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 basically in day to day life when you give your your authority when you accept something remember are you accept it in the shallow level of life or shallow level of life or you want to go deeper experience or you want to go beyond the shallow level of life so that is that is why you have to look little bits because when we practice this why why i say because when you practice sometimes you treat certain books with the scientists and recognize the the very nature of the mind and the in nature of the what is the impermanent it is something kind of like uh, they trying to or mostly they just go with their mind and then you try to follow it but when it come to buddha's teaching remember the once time buddha mentioned nanatta kaya nanatta sanya there are four kind of categories when it come to existence nanatta kaya nanatta sanya sanya in this human life nanatta kaya nan different kind of bodily formation different kind of mental formations nanatta kaya it, it never going to be same this soul mate is a kind of like a, the is a illusion so each and every person different that is the nature of the human life nanatta kaya nanatta sanya it not going to be same so then you i will tell you how that it the difference going to happen you will understand it today we going to get into that so and there are certain existence nanatta kaya ekatta sanya that's mean the physically physical form is different but the mental condition the awareness is the same they think the same way but physically they are different the mentally they they go with the same way it's not in the human level they are maybe low level of the animal or high level of the the deity so like that they are physically different but the same mindset everyone and then another ekatta kaya nanatta sanya physically they are same when you look at physically everybody same so like I, as example i was looking kind of like there are certain fish you know when you look that fish the from outside each and every fish same size and the same model and the same structure even any any marks you find the same spot in each and every fish you find that so ekatta kaya the physically they are same but nanatta sanya the the conscious level is different and there are certain existence ekatta kaya ekatta sanya they are physically the same and mentally also they are same there are existence like uh, uh, there are different kind of relim uh, the deities 
But when it comes to human life, we trying to focus regarding the human life, the, the very nature of the human life, nanatta kaya, nanatta sanya. It not it going it not going to be the same. Each and every person different. So as example, so now you can see this uh, bottle of water. So what I can see as bottle of water, you will never see. Nanatta sanya. You will never see what the the bottle I I see. Same like each and everything, whatever come to your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind. So whatever come for your eye, so be very careful. If you get this, there is something you're going to get. I want I wanna you to get it. Okay. So that's why you have to you have to go with me. Don't try to sit and just trying to be kind of like a, a meditative disciple and kind of like yourself becoming kind of like a, a idiot no you have to think with me to catch what i'm trying to tell okay i don't need you to become a follower or a student i don't collect students so i i just trying to tell you what inside you happened so whatever come to your eye so the mechanism of the this eye you have to have this physical eye and then the the colors should become or the any kind of picture should appear so when the the perception come to your eye when these two things come together the eye consciousness arise when the you have this ear then the sound arise with these two things come together then the the co sound consciousness arise ear consciousness so the nose you have the nose smell is there and the nose consciousness arise the tongue is here and the taste come together and the tongue consciousness arise so the body is here and the when the sensation the touch come the body consciousness arise. So without that, the touch, it's not going to happen. So you need the, the connection. So the mind the same. You have the mind and the thought arise and then the mind consciousness arise. So now very clear. When the mind consciousness arise, that is where the feelings arise. Because without the contacts, not feelings going to come. With the feelings, to get into the feelings, you need the consciousness. With your eye, you need the eye consciousness. Feelings arise. And according to that, you recognize this is a good feeling, this is a bad feeling, this is a neutral feeling. And then that is where the, the desire arises. That is where the existence arises. So the, for the ear also the same. The contact and then the consciousness arise and according to that consciousness you're going to recognize this is a good sound, this is a bad sound or unpleasant sound or neutral sound. And according to that then you get it or you try to resist it. So this is the method that go with all the six senses. Why you can, whatever, remember, whatever you see with your eye, hear with your ear, smell with your nose, taste with your tongue, feeling with your body, mind with your thoughts, no one else in this universe cannot experience same like you. Only you can experience it. So then how you can expect that somebody will understand you? In the shallow level of as ideas, we come together. So the ideas belong to time and space. So the ideas belong to what we believe or what we learn, what we cultured our life. 
not real what you really understand maybe you say oh it is good maybe somebody else say yeah it is good maybe that person trained to say it is good that's it and somebody else worship and you go and you also worship and say you the somebody say remember when you go to temple in front of the buddha hands like this do like this say sadhu sadhu and you do it and then somebody else come with you and then tell hey when you go to temple do this and even the church the same mosque the same what you experience no one else can experience it is only you can experience how this is why how it is happening okay so when something come to your ear as a picture so as a bell when something come to in front of your eye so it the you have this eye the bell is here now the contacts happening and then according to that the feelings arise to arise that feelings in that moment you need the previous thought without previous thought there is no ear consciousness uh, the eye consciousness going to arise that previous thought coming from your personal experience so with the sound also the same the consciousness and it that in itself the consciousness arise with the ear to arise that consciousness you need the past experience in that past experience whatever you have your past not even your husband wife children friends and family members that whoever around you they have different different experience in their life so that's why what you experience is no one else can experience but it is that that consciousness related with the thoughts and that is where you recognize this is good this is bad why because it has a previous thought influence it it has uh, that uh, the authority from your past experience but in that very moment when the eye with something contact with your eye in that very consciousness if you don't react to re go beyond it this is good or this is bad ditte ditti manta that means you just see it and you just recognize it just as seeing that's it you not allow go beyond it whatever you hear that you recognize it as a sound but from beyond that you not allow your past experience to influence the the whatever you hear so then the sound itself arise it's just a sound it not going to become or oh, it is that person voice or oh, i like that i hate that voice so like that it not going to go deeper and the the smell the same you not going to think over your experience your consciousness if you think over your consciousness remember that belong to sansara but if you take it as only sound and stop there only smell as you stop there only taste you stop there only body sensation you stop there only mind thought you stop there it not allow you to feed to your current deeper inside you you have the roots called mental formation sanskar it not going to match with it it not going to connect with it 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 connect when you think so that's why what you think no one will understand don't if you have any hope forget about it 
Nobody going to understand. Look at the world. Who going to understand anybody? No. So that's why if you have any idea, oh, this person will understand me, it cannot do like that. So that's why when somebody try to try to give certain experience through books, through words, try to explain by reading, you will never understand what that person try to, to go uh, to explain. In a convention and shadow level, as an idea, you get it. But that's that is different. That is not what the Buddha mentioned. The emptiness or the the Selflessness come when you see something and you just see it and you not allow it to go deeper into your sanskara and get influenced by your past experience. In that very moment, what I see, you also see, but there is no thinking out of that scene. What I hear, you also hear, but there is no thinking. That is where the sin, in sin meditation, deeper level of uh, certain experience, they understand no words. That is where their experience is going to become equal. But if you try to get into words, what is happening? Words belong to time and space. And then what will happen? You caught up with the sansara. Even reading a sutra, Look, how many people read sutras? Even reading a sutra, just itself, if you try to get the, the understanding according to the words, it depends. Why? Because the, some per, people have the, the better understanding regarding the language, that person understand different way, and you understand different way. It's relative. So that's why. So then the very first thing, remember, Accept the truth. No one will understand you. And then remember, don't try to understand anybody. It is not your duty. You, you don't need to understand anybody. Why? Because if you understand anyone, it's nothing to do. That person needs to understand that person. So your responsibility should be to understand you. Rather than thinking that person will understand me. No. Oh, rather than trying to understand yourself, another person, no, it's not going to happen. Even you understand that you cannot do anything. Why? Because no one going to listen to anybody like that way. No one going to change their inner will because you understand them. So then what do you have to do? Try to get into you. That is what called self-realization. That is the main purpose of the Buddha's teaching in the first 20 years. That is the main purpose of the Buddha's teaching. Self-realization, recognizing what is happening inside you. Once you recognize that mechanism, you understand what is happening within other people. And that way you have the compassion regarding other people. And you have the empathy and you have the you become more humble regarding other people. And that will conventionally develop a very comfortable life and peace and harmony. But deeper level, the what is happening within inside you is completely different than another person. So once you recognize that, you never going to fight with anybody. You completely become neutral. You never going to argue with anybody. You never going to resist anyone, anybody. Why? Because you know it is useless. But conventionally, in ordinary life, you can have conversation. So then remember yourself. Try to get into that and what you recognize, what you go through, what your history is completely different than another person. And so then yourself recognizing that and when the experience happened with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, 
right away in that very moment don't allow your past to come and catch it come and catch it just separate let it be don't think over through about your experience and that is where you're going to get into the ultimate bliss of nibbana when the eye ear nose tongue body mind this all the the perceptions contacts happening in that very moment when the consciousness arise regarding that moment don't allow that consciousness to that recognition to go to your past experience and repeat your past through that consciousness so try it then you will see you can do it you can do it just only thing is you have to practice a little bit because just listening understanding not going to work just try to practice a little bit whatever you see i see i i repeat it again whatever you experience with your eye ear nose tongue body mind in that experience when the consciousness arises to recognize the sound smell taste sensation or, or the thoughts or like in that very moment don't allow that concept that awareness to to go to your past experience don't allow your past experience to come and catch the moment if you awake in that very moment you will see it's the moment is just happening there is nothing beyond that there is no any soul beyond it there is no any atma beyond it there is no any consciousness beyond your eye ear nose tongue body mind and that is where you recognize what is this impermanent so with that i hope uh, this will help for you and uh, with this i bless upon everyone may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patient courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbhitiyo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sukhi dika yuko bhav etavata chammi sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhiya sabbe bhuta anumodantu सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया सबे सत्ता अनुमोदन तो सब संपत्ति सिद्धिया इदम मे पुनिन कम्म आस वक्या वहं हो तु सब दुख पमुंचतु ब्लेस यू सो थैंक यू वेरी मच एवरीवन टुमारो वी विल हैव अ कन्वर्सेशन ओके सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस you can get ready with that and uh, we'll have a conversation and we'll see what are the the difficulties so if there is something on not clear and we can get into that and we go from there